So welcome. This is a preview of the England against Fiji quarterfinal. Now, as I said in any videos that you may have seen before, this is going to be a little bit of a different preview to the World Cup matches. You can see behind me, I've got the quarterfinal draws sort of sat behind me. Different sized pieces of paper. I do apologize. It's all that they printed. However, I am having each country represented by its own food. We're going to talk a bit about the rugby and, of course, about the food. Now, first up, Fiji, they have done really well. They didn't look great at the start of the tournament, but they have battled and battled and battled. Should have possibly beaten Wales if it wasn't for that dropped pass right on the uh, the 80th minute. Um, they, they did exceptionally well against Australia. And then toward the end, it seemed like they struggled. Obviously, they lost to Portugal. But like it seems like when they play a bigger team, they put in a bigger performance. Um, they looked very dejected at the end of that Portugal game. And I do wonder how much that's going to carry across to the quarterfinal. Um, so with Fiji in mind, I have some dried mango. I have some UFOs. Some bongos. Some chicken flavored peas by Sunrise. And I've got a couple packets of twisties. Now I've got chicken peas, so I'm gonna try the cheese twisties. Now, I got these from a small company on Etsy. I'm very grateful that you were there. Uh, they were there for literally three or four days. They sold whatever products they had and then they, they disappeared. So I'm hoping it's not laced with LSD or anything like that. It's kind of like one of those questionable things you find. But let's give them a go. I don't really know much about Fijian food. I know that they share some things like it's quite popular in their country, like chop suey and stuff like that. And they have something very similar to the New Zealand honey with like a, an underground barbecue pit. So these are the cheese twisties. Now, they kind of look like a lighter knickknack that we have in this country. Mm. Oh. Super crispy, but not like hard you know they, they kind of crumble once you bite into it not a very intrusive cheese flavor it's very subtle unlike the Fijian forwards subtle is not their forte like they let you know that they're there right from the get-go these are a little bit more like a uh, if you don't mind we're here whereas I don't think England are going to have that luxury in, in the quarterfinal. I think Fiji, as long as they're not too drained from their matches, I do feel that they're going to create quite an impact with their forwards. But again, a bit of broken play between England and Fiji. And their backs are, you know, they're exceptional with broken play. So these are the chicken peas. So... Mmm! Okay, a little salty, they're dry, like, I think if you had a whole bag of those, your mouth would go like um, Jim Carrey in uh, Me, Myself and Irene, where his fucking lips just disappear. But well, super tasty, again, not overly intrusive, I was expecting, I don't know, I was kind of expecting something maybe a bit more punchy in flavour. So these are the bongos. So these are baked, not fried. Cheese flavor again. You like your cheese and chicken, eh? Mm. Again, not hugely strong. I don't know if it's maybe less artificial flavorings or something that they use. But it's not like that really strong English powdered cheese flavor that you get. UFOs. Now, we have UFOs. Do we have UFOs? I think the UFOs we have in this country are like sherbet filled rice paper. So these are certainly, they look a bit like the old burger potato chips you'd get. Oh, okay. Okay, they are burger flavoured. Okay. They are a much more valid dish towards what I think 
Fiji are going to bring to their game. It's punchy, it's powerful. It makes no apologies for slapping you straight in the face. And I do think that that's what Fiji will bring. Fiji certainly seem to be a team that so far recently over the last couple of years have stepped up to larger games and performed better. Seems like when they're not having a, a big team in front of them, they can maybe go off the boil a little bit. But I do think they'll be licking their lips at another chance to, to turn England over like they had earlier this year. So this is mango, I think it's mango skin. I don't know what the coating is. The fact that it's just come in a little baggy makes me wonder if I should even taste it, seeing how you don't know the sauce. Oh. It's very hard. But it's like, Sorry, I'm smacking my lips together there. That is a little salty, sweet, sour, tangy. Like, I wouldn't be able to eat a whole pack of that because it's very, very rich in flavor. And it is like rock hard skin. But it kind of crumbles. Oh, it's sour. Whoa. I actually really like that. I don't know if it's sweet, don't know if it's sour, don't know if it's, it's a bit of everything. And I do think that's kind of what possibly Fiji are going to bring to this game. Like England played them recently, didn't do very well against them. And ultimately, um, they know each other a little better for that. But I don't know. I just feel that maybe... This is a good side of the draw for Fiji to be on to realistically get to a semi-final. I do see them giving England a lot of trouble. And um, on that note, we're going to go on to the English snacks. So, for any of my fans that are watching or people that are tuning in for the first time, first of all, hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help me an awful lot to be able to create this kind of stuff for you. And let me know what you think of it, because normally it is just food and food markets. However, this time, obviously, it is rugby based. And I wanted to incorporate some food into that because it is basically a food channel. So for anyone that doesn't know, this is a Scotch egg. Now, this is made with a quail's egg because I have a lot to eat and it's a little smaller. Now, not to be mistaken, some people think that a Scotch egg comes from Scotland, which isn't the case. It was invented in Whitby in the northeast of England. And years ago, like when it was first invented, it didn't have sausage meat. So this is basically a hard boiled egg wrapped in sausage meat, breaded and deep fried. And they are delicious with a bit of mustard. You can get small ones, you just pop in your mouth along the go, on the go. You can get other ones that have like black pudding and pickled egg inside, which is called a Manchester egg. But the traditional scotch that was invented in Whitby originally didn't even have sausage meat. It was an egg that was wrapped around or wrapped inside a fish paste and then it was breadcrumbed. So obviously no fish left in this one, but you can get smoked haddock once I've seen it. I've done it myself at work as well. But I love a Scotch egg. And these are from the Ginger Pig in Borough Market. So I have high, high hopes. Mm. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with a Scotch egg. Same as what's next. Now this, I mean, in relation to my head, that is a big wedge of sausage roll. Now, this is a spicy lamb sausage roll. But again, like, like the Scotch egg, you know, it's sausage meat, herbs, egg, breadcrumb, fried. Sausage roll, it's meat, spices, pastry, roasted. Like, for the most part, it's dependable. Kind of like England, for the most part, they're dependable. They can be consistent. You would expect England at most World Cups to be semi-finalists. I mean, they knocked out, was it New Zealand in the semi-finals back in 2019? And I mean, they'd just run through the, the New Zealand had just run through the Irish and then obviously got turned over by England. 
Um, didn't really do too well in the final, but I mean that that South African team had like a point to prove. You know, they they were very much not given a chance from almost from the start. Now this I'm looking forward to again from the ginger pig. Oh my god! Look at the heft of that in there. That is. Juicy, spicy, buttery, flaky pastry. I'll be honest, I'm a little ashamed to say that this is actually my first sausage roll from the Ginger Pig. I haven't been to Borough Market dozens of times. That certainly won't be my last. But as you can see, taking a bite of that, to go back into these like analogies of food in relation to England and rugby in general. When you take a bite of that, it kind of goes a little bit everywhere. And it'll be interesting to see how England keep their discipline. They've had a few red cards, a few dodgy tackles. And, you know, the, the referees are supposed to be on it. And I appreciate it's all about the, the, protect, the protection of the players. But it'll be interesting to see how their discipline holds up under fierce Fijian attack um, those harsh big bold forwards kind of going in disrupting your play it will be interesting to see if England like the sausage roll go a little bit everywhere or if Brothwick have been a has been able to kind of get them into a bit more of a group a bit more of unity and uh, yeah we'll see I mean personally I wouldn't say it's a fair comparison snack to, to sausage roll um, I love the Fijian snacks. Some of them are very mellow. The last two I had really punchy. Um, I've got to say, food-wise, I think the English win. But again, I think it's an unfair contest. So I'm going to call it a draw on the food purely because I don't think I did Fiji justice. Uh, it's very tricky to find Fijian food in the UK. So if they get through to the semifinals, I will do my best to find something a little bit more savory a little bit more hearty a little bit more of an actual dish if i can uh, or maybe even try and cook something but as it stands food a tie they're, they're both good uh, i think maybe fiji was a bit badly uh badly shown however in the favor of the rugby i mean i'd love to see your guys thoughts in the comments who you think's got this um I mean, honestly, if Fiji aren't too disheartened, even I, I, I you know, they lost to Portugal, okay, but they looked so defeated on the field. And I'd say for that reason alone, I'm worried about whether they will show up. I'm going to put England to win. And I'm going to say England to win by about 18 points. I think if Fiji don't recover from the weekend, I do feel England might just run a few past them. So I'm going to go England to win this quarterfinal by 18 points. And yeah, we will uh, see what's happening. Anyway, enjoy. Like, subscribe, hit the share button, uh, hit the bell for notifications. Obviously, the World Cup for the duration is going to be food-based and preview-based on my thoughts on the rugby. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know in your comments below who you think is going to win. If you think that my analogies between food and rugby are actually tangible or if they're not at all. But uh, yeah, enjoy the rugby and uh, see you for the next one.